Fantastic Gaming The channel where Logan will show you everything From gameplay to gear, their crew is here To take you on a journey through every atmosphere Releases to news, you don't have to choose Red Fantastic Gaming is here for you Hey everybody, Logan here So, today uh, as you can see by the title card, I decided to do something a tad bit um, different because I had a couple questions about this. And don't worry, all you guys uh, that have requested different videos, uh, I am I am working on those. Some are taking a little work than others. Uh, I did get requested a, a top 10 items in my collection. That's actually taken some work. It, it's really hard to figure out what what I would say is my top 10, but we got that and PlayStation Collection, a couple of other things coming. But as of right now, we're going to focus on something that's very popular. Why wouldn't we? And that's the Nintendo Switch. Hey, hey, hey look, you can see me. Hi. Hi. So, um, what about the Switch? Cases and protectors and stuff to go for not just one model, but multiple models. So we have the regular switch and then we have uh, I'm taking the case off of this one the switch light. So as everybody knows these are the two standard models of the switch. Uh, yes I do have uh, joystick caps on each just because I want to. So I'm not a big fan of the, the sticks and just because of how you touch them quite often, you know, the, the residue and stuff from your, your thumbs or your fingers uh, can rub off. So I, I went through a couple of different cases. Let's start with the regular switch. I went through this sucker for a little bit. Yeah, as you can see, it's kind of dusty because I don't use it. I don't like it. I thought I'd like it. It clips in. Cool, right? No. And then these go on there. And to be honest, I can't even remember. Yeah, and the, they're just they're not good. Not not good. You drop it once, this thing cracks. Um doesn't sit on well feels very cheap this one was a a case from oops sorry a case from I want to say Hori PDA I don't know but it was I bought it because it was Skyrim this thing's junk stay away from these light plastic ones no matter who makes them they're crap um if you like them, I'm sorry, but I know no one can have a positive thing to say about these, especially how light they are. And, you know, you can't even put them in a dock, even though they say, oh, they're dockable. No, they're not. So, um, for most of the time, I kind of just sat with... This is my secondary Switch. I do have the Legend of Zelda one you might have seen in the other ones. The one, well, it has the Legend of Zelda decals and stuff like that. But this is the one I use currently for my Animal Crossing. So I kept it like that for a while and just mainly played it docked because then I got my Switch Lite. Switch Lite, I went through a number of different um, sleeves, cases, protectors. This is the original one. Um, if you look at any of my older Switch Lite videos, I'll link it. But um, this is a pain in the butt to get on and off. So if, God forbid, something happens or it moves, you know, it stays in there pretty snug. I'm not going to put it on now because it's just a pain um, to, to get off. Um, <laughs> that's what she said. It's just, it's just a pain. Um, I do like it. It's secured pretty well. Uh, didn't, you know, take up too much space when I was traveling. Because I use this when I would go to Disney and stuff like that. But after a while I realized, you know what, it didn't fit in a lot of the travel cases that I had. So it's okay. This is the this is the Hori one that you can get from um, 
pretty much anywhere. I think I got this from Best Buy when it came out. But uh, it's it, if I'd have to grade this one, I'd give it like maybe a six out of ten. It's not awful, but you know, it's at least you could see the the color of your Switch. If you have the Pokemon one, it's it, it's not too bad for that one. I, I think it's pretty good for the Pokemon one just because you can see your Pokemon stuff through it. Another one I got right after that, I bought this one on Amazon. And it's all flippity floppity. And you're like, but it doesn't really match. Yeah, because I didn't want it to have the same color. I wanted it to kind of pop. This one, this one I was using the most when I would go to Disney uh, at the time because it was what I bought. And funny enough, that weekend I bought a new one uh, while I was up there. But the problem is, as you can see, it, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit snug. So you see how it's how it's kind of loose. You know the the grips are kind of cool because it gives your your hand something to sit against. So if you're holding it this way, your your fingers can sit against that. It, it's pretty smooth and doesn't block anything. So this one was nice. Um, besides this, I just wish it was a little more snug. Um, this one was th this one was pretty good. If you just want a silicon sleeve. I got this one on Amazon for around five, six bucks. So uh, you get what you pay for. And I honestly couldn't tell you the brand or who made it. I just kind of looked through and said, okay, that's that's not bad. And um, there you go. So I wish I could even link it below, but I have no clue. Uh, I don't even rem remember when I got this or whatnot, but uh, I'm pretty sure you can find one very similar on Amazon. Maybe if I can find the old listing, if it's still up there in my purchase history, I'll, I'll try to drop it in the description. But this one, I would give, I'd give a solid seven and a half, just because it's a little loose. I, I wish it had a little more padding on it, but that's not always a good thing. So that leads me to the next one, and the next one is the Hyperkin which I love Hyperkin stuff. So this one was much thicker. So the sides were thicker. It has a, a bit of a texture on the back to make it a little more snug. But when you go to pop it in, cool. Okay, get in there. I, I, I will say the, the joystick caps do make it a little more of a pain. Um, this one does fit a, as well as this one, when putting these on, they fit in the travel cases very well. So this one has an issue, as you can already see. Uh, if you're using joystick caps, one, it fits snugly, but it's... If you look at it, you see how it's actually raised. So you're pressing the buttons and the edges, the edges get stuck. Well, your finger gets stuck against and it doesn't feel well. And I was like, all right, guys at, at Hyperkin, I expected better. I love Hyperkin. I have so many accessories, and that one was kind of upsetting. And now if you're using the, the sticks, the covers, you don't get a full left or a full. You just barely, oop, oop, and it stops, so you don't get that full press to the left or to the right. And then if you're trying to use the D-pad, since it's not raised too high, you, you know, for those of you who have a Switch Lite, this is raised higher than the D-pad. So, I'm not sure if you can see it. There you go. It's, yeah. So, the back is fine. Um, the the texture's fine. It's more matte than the other one. It's not as smooth in terms of uh, texture. But it's fine. The texture's fine. But that bothered the crap out of me. I got the black because I was going to... I, I had the black uh, caps for it, too, like I have here. But, yeah. Yeah, I, I'd give this one a five, five out of ten. I, I know I'm being a little harsh because of the quality and my doing with these, but I, I like the caps. And if you don't work with the caps, it's going to be a big negative. But you know, being too high of a, a, a of a, it's raised too high and gets in the way of button pressing. So to me. Even without the caps, that's... Eh, they, they could have reworked it. Maybe make the front a little thinner. So, then I decided to get another one. 
and the other one well you know what let, let's let, let's look at another one that I picked up for my wife's switch which is a good grip it's not a good case I would say but it's a whoops sorry it's definitely a good grip and that was this one as you, she's got the matching caps too but this is a good grip so if you're looking for more of a grip less of a, a protector case this one's not too shabby this was the insignia brand it does be a little cheap but it's not bad you can hold four extra cartridges in there besides the one and it, it's not bad but the next problem Can you guys hear that? I hope you can't hear that. Um, the next problem with this is trying to put this in a in a travel case. Yeah, this is great when you're using it at home. It's a little comfortable, but you know, depending on the size of your hands, like this is great for my wife, for me, not so much because my hands are a little bigger and holding it like I would a controller, I wanna hold it higher. So holding it like this, it's, it's uncomfortable because that part goes in the middle of your hand and I don't know. Um, it's not bad, but it depends on who you are and the size of your hands and whatnot. I'm sure there are better ones out there. And by the way, this, this video is not um, sponsored by any company and I didn't want to do it that way. There's another one that a lot of people are saying uh, is a really good uh, dust. Sorry, uh, a, a really good brand for uh, a grip or a, a case or whatnot, and that's Satisfy. I haven't tried them. For the price, I just thought they were a little too expensive. I didn't want to pay 30, 40 bucks for a grip. I'm sorry, they might be great, but I just think that's a bit much. So, um, this one was, I think, 11, 12 bucks. I got it on sale for $7, so it's not bad for the price. Uh, I give it a, a, a 7 because depending on who you are, it, it's great for the purpose it serves. But if your hands are a bit larger like mine, as you can see, um, the, not the greatest. So I decided to hop up on the old Amazon machine again. And on the old Amazon machine for the Switch Lite, I got one from a company that I never heard of. But boy, was I happy. It's called Mumba. Look at that. You're like, well, what's that? Okay, it's interesting. It looks kind of like uh, a Hori one, I think it is. But better. Lich has the Hori one. It looks kind of similar with the design. But you have grips here that protrude just slight enough. But it's still thin enough to fit in all of my travel cases. You know, like, it looks a little large. It actually isn't. So it's extremely comfortable. No, it doesn't have the, um, the grippy things like, say, any controller would, the, the handle, sorry. But the grips on the back make it extremely comfortable. So I'm holding it like this. This is, this is freaking fantastic. And it fits very snug. Um, one problem I do have uh, and you'll see it on the next one this one there's no problem whatsoever you got the memory card you got the headphone you got everything coming out and the volume Th this one for the switch light perfect this is a mumba I think it'll cost me about $17 maybe 15 to 17 somewhere in there I like the colors uh, they did have it in gray and yellow as well as the teal but I felt the the teal gave it a little bit of a a contrast gave it a bit of a pop looked better with the um stick uh caps the pokemans i do have the turquoise switch light and it looks awful with this thing but this one looks beautiful with the gray and it's it's perfect this one i give straight 10 out of 10 perfect i mean there's nothing else i could have asked for which could be a better uh uh grip and it's very solid uh, yeah, as you can see, because I use it so much and it goes in and out of cases and stuff like that, you, you can see it's got some wear. But th that's just because of the color. Color fades and rubs off when you're going in and out of cases. But this is 
great. This is this is the one I would recommend after this Mumba one. M U M B A. Um, get this one. I mean, if you're looking for one on Amazon, this is fantastic. Um, much better than any of the ones I've seen in a lot of the stores. As you can see, a lot of the ones that I bought over here were in stores. So this was fantastic. This is the one I would recommend on uh, on Amazon. They have them in different colors. So with that said, I did the same thing for my regular Switch because they came out with that as well. And they have these in multicolors, orange, red, blue, what have you. And I chose green. Oh, what? That's not green. It's like highlighter yellowy green. Yeah. So when I got it, the, the color looked a little different. I thought it was going to be more along the lines of the colors of the Joy-Cons. I got it to match, and so it would look good with my Legend of Zelda one. Let's see if I can show you what it looks like with the Legend of Zelda one. It looks, uh, it actually looks pretty good because of the colors. I'm sorry that audio changed. I just got up for a second. So this one is is great. It's the same as the Switch Lite, um, and it pops off extremely easy. It's durable, and as you can see, it looks really good with the. This is the original Switch. This is a Switch V2, uh, one with the better screen. As you can see, it looks really good with the the, the Link. The only thing is the gold cartridge decal on the back looks a little odd. But this is the best. I mean, it's fantastic. Now, will I give it a 10? No. Why? You can't get to the stand. So this is portability, nothing more. Um, this one, because of the size of it, I guess because of the size of most cases, it doesn't fit well in a case. I'll give it a 9. Because otherwise, everything is great about it. The design, the feel, I mean, the grip, it's just as good. Hand size doesn't hurt, and your, your fingers sit, well, the way I hold it, my fingers sit right here, no problem, no cutting, no bother, and yeah, this one's great. So, fan flipping tastic fantastic. And lo and behold, I went on Amazon to uh, see what other new ones maybe they have put out, since I have... Two switches I was like let me get another case for it for the other one because both of these are dockable these slide into the dock a little snug but this one does dock and you can you, you can dock with it so that one's really flipping good that's why I give it an eye but without the kickstand so with this one I bought you're like what what is this another mumbo one but this one I got in red because Red Bandana Gaming is here for you. And it looked good with the other one too. And the whole front of it is black. So this one, this one's a little thicker. That's what she said. Twice in one video, I'll stop. So this one pops in. But as you can see, it's significantly thicker. It's got a bit larger uh, grips, which are still extremely comfortable. Has a little finger spaces down here it gives it some serious weight to it so it feels man it feels good this one was $19 and as you can see it's got these awesome designs this one comes in multiple colors too it came in gray red blue um, I can't remember all the other colors but the red really popped to me I was gonna get it between the the red and blue but I thought the red one the color on the back doesn't infringe on the front but red and green come on how can you not like red and green so and plus I have the different um, joy cons I have gray and whatnot so the reason I'm gonna give this one is a perfect 10 because it's durability and one big 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 factor what it's got the dang kickstand People are like, eh, who cares about the kickstand? Believe it or not, I, I use a kickstand quite a bit. Uh, I'll be playing uh, in, in bed I'll use because I want to use my um, my 8-bit Doe controller, the 8-bit uh, Doe uh, SM30+. Plus. I like using that one quite a bit, 
and my wife's usually playing on the on the TV. I'm playing uh, on the Switch, or we go back and forth. Um, when I do it, th this one sits just fine in bed. It sits on my lap, or, I, or I'll sit up in bed, and it just sits there. You know, depending on where I'm playing, I, I can set this one up. This one is great, and 20 bucks. It's a banging case, and it's solid. Yes, the only drawback is it's a little large, depending on your travel case. But, in my opinion, it's worth it. It's solid. It gives it some girth. It, it feels like this thing, you know, this, this thing is good. And it looks great. I mean, the design is better than anything I've ever seen in terms of Switch cases. And it's just cool. It's got a little carbon fiber, red. Okay, let me stop going on. But this one is fantastic. If you want the less expensive, it's about, uh, depending on where you get it, it's about... Three to four dollars less if you're not interested in the kickstand or the bulk of this one. Um, so this is around 20, this is around 17. And then you got the Switch Lite version of it as well. So yeah, they all happen to be Bumba. And as you can see, I bought a number. I know there's a ton of different ones out there. If you guys have any recommendations, drop them in the comments below. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. Um, so I always like seeing what people think about cases, what cases they use. Hey, head on over to our uh, socials on Facebook or Instagram and drop us a picture of what you use at Red Bandana Gaming. Especially on, uh, on Facebook or Twitter at RBG underscore Retro. Show us what cases you use, what grips you use. I have no problem interacting with you guys there. And uh, talk to you about what you choose to use because that's kind of cool. As long as your switch is protected, you gotta case up that switch or protect it. Put a little. Okay, this isn't going where I wanted to go, so we're just gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and if you've made it this far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, for all your RBG goodness, like I said, head on over to RedBandanaGaming.com and on our socials. Uh, hit that subscribe button. I think I already said that. But nah, I haven't said it. Hit that subscribe button. Um, and thank you guys so much. And during these crazy times, always remember to take care of yourself and each other. And like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.